Welcome back. In this video, we're going to look at the spore stain technique. Now, the purpose of the spore stain technique is to determine if a bacterium is capable of producing spores. And spores are very important because they're very resistant structures and they allow bacteria to survive harsh conditions. A lot of disease-causing bacteria produce spores. For instance, uh, Clostridium botulinum that produces botulism is a spore former. Uh, Clostridium tetani that causes tetanus. So very important structures. Now let's talk about the materials you're going to need. You will need a bottle of distilled or deionized water, a bottle of spore stain, which is 1% malachite green, a bottle of saffronin stain, a book of bibulous paper, a pair of forceps, pipette to apply your spore stain, some way of keeping track of time, I have a watch here, a slide holder, a staining tray, a bacterial smear, and make sure the bacterial smear is from a bacterial culture that is at least 48 hours old because you need to give the bacteria time to sporulate. And finally, a steam bath. And we use steam to drive the spore stain into the spores. One other very important item is eye protection because we're using stain over a hot plate. If it drips on the hot plate, that hot steam, that stain can splash into your eyes. So make sure you protect yourself. All right, so let's start with the technique. First thing we're going to do is we're going to take our bacterial smear. We're going to take a little piece of bibulous paper and cover the smear. And I've already torn out a little piece of bibulous paper, so here you can see it. And this should be about the size of a posted stamp. So it should fit over the bacterial smear, but not hang off the slide. So let me show you a close-up of this. Okay, now the purpose of this piece of paper is to hold the spore stain over the bacterial smear. So we're ready to start staining. So I'm going to take my spore stain. I'll put my slide over the steam bath, and I'm going to apply malachite green for three minutes. I'm going to hold it over the bacterial smear. Now what you do is you keep this paper moist. Don't let it dry out. So you kind of have to babysit it. So just keep watching it and make sure that it doesn't dry out, because if it does dry out, it's going to stick to the slide and your finished product won't be very good. So as necessary, add more malachite green, just to keep it moist. Okay, now after three minutes of steaming the malachite green into your stain, into your uh, bacterial smear, then you're ready to rinse it. And I'm accelerating the time so the video won't be really long. So go ahead and rinse both sides. Now, Sometimes your paper will wash right off, but if it doesn't, that's why you have your forceps, so you can take the paper off your slide. And keep rinsing, make sure you get all that spore stain off. Now you're ready to apply the safranin. You do not blot after you rinse off your spore stain. Just put the safranin right on top of it. The safranin will stay on the bacterial smear for 30 seconds. So we'll let that sit there for 30 seconds. Then we will rinse both sides, get all that extra stain off of there. Okay, now we're ready to blot dry. And remember, you don't want to rub the bacterial smear because you don't want to rub off the bacteria. So the best thing to do is just to gently pat it dry. And you might have to move it around a few times so you can absorb all the moisture. And once you have all the moisture taken off the slide, you're ready to observe it. And let me put this here so you can get a good look at it. And see what the finished product should look like. All right, now before I close out, let's talk about some common mistakes that you want to avoid. The first mistake is letting the paper dry out. Do not let that little piece of bibulous paper dry out when you're adding the spore stain. 
because that will uh, result in a really poor product. Second mistake, when you're blotting your slide dry, don't hold it in your slide holder while you blot it dry because what will happen a lot of times you'll kind of get a, an angle on it and you'll snap it. You'll notice when I put it in here I went ahead and took the slide holder off and that way it keeps the slide flat and it prevents it from breaking. There's the technique so give it a try and what you're looking for is the spores will be green and the bacterial cells will be pink. So look at this uh, illustration I provided and you'll see the spores and the pink bacteria.